Hi guys, this is Edward, and welcome to the ninth video tutorial of creating a Flappy Bird game with Hodot. This video is going to be quite short, since we will be doing something which you will have done a while ago. And the thing is that we can just make the bell flap by pressing a space, and we should also be able to do so by tapping on the screen in a phone or by using the mouse. And the first solution that might cross to our minds is to add a mouse button to the flap action. So let's do that and see what happens. I'll go to the project settings and under the tab input map we already have the flap action. Let's add a mouse button. We want the left button. Click add. Let's close this panel and give it a shot. And I can indeed use the left mouse button to flap, but there is a problem with this approach. And the thing is that it will trigger the flap action when we press the left mouse button no matter what. To better illustrate what I mean, in the HUD node, let's add a simpler button node. I resize it a little. Let's run the game. And you can see that the bell flaps even when the button is being pressed. And that is because we are doing it with the left mouse button. And that will become an issue later on when we implement the pause button. Since this is not what we are looking for, I will undo everything we have done so far. I will delete the button node. And in the project settings, I'm going to remove the left mouse button in the flap option. So to get it to work in the way we want it, that is reading inputs, considering buttons and other nodes caching user inputs. We have to use a callback name on handler inputs. So let's go to the bird scene and open up its script. And below the input callback, I will add the callback on handler inputs. And this callback is quite similar to the input one. But it will only send those input events that have been handled by nobody in the scene. I think its name is quite meaningful, so there isn't much to explain here. And since we have been using state machine, we are going to delegate this function to the current state just like we did here. So I'll ask if the state has the method on handler input. And if it's so, we will call the function passing events as argument. Let's go to the flapping state. And below the input function, I will create the function on handler input with events as a parameter. Now we have to filter the events this is sending us to get the event when the left mouse button has just been pressed. The next line of code is going to be quite long. So I'll hit Shift F11 to get more room. So I'll ask if event that type is equal to input event that mouse button and event that is pressed and event is not an echo. And then here we can ask what mouse button has just been pressed. But I actually going to inverse this. I'm going to ask if event that type is not a mouse button, or if event is not pressed, or if the event is an echo. And if this is true, we'll return. So this is going to make sure that all the code below is going to run only if the event is a mouse button that has just been pressed. Now we can ask if event that button index is equal to button left. And if it's so, we'll call the function flap. I'll hit Shift F11 to go back to the normal view. And before trying this out, we have to enable the unhandled input callback. So in ready, we'll set process unhandled input to true. Let's give it a shot. And there we have it. Now there is one little problem. Which is not actually a big deal, but we can't tap over the score. It might be okay to leave it like that, but if we want to address it, we just have to go to the game stage 
and in the Xbox score node, enable ignore mouse. Let's try it out. And there we have it. Well guys, this is gonna be it for now. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it, and subscribe if you want to get more videos. As always, thanks to other people supporting me on Patreon, and until next time, see you later.